As soon as you enter the jail here, you have the intake area as well as the women's cells. This is a place that I initially got goosebumps and chills. You may have seen a past video of the hair on my arm standing up next to this cell. There's an interesting story here. We have a female prisoner who was here with her baby and they even slid the crib in. And just being in this in like, you know, springtime, it's extremely chilly. In the summertime, it's extremely hot. And it's funny enough because she's one who was accused of poisoning her husband, as the story tells. But they released her without trying or convicting her because of the cold weather. She was forced to leave the state, but she never faced charges. And then you go upstairs to the men's section. I guess there were more men prisoners than women. <laughs> Here we have one of the men's holding cells. It's one of the places that is very impactful to me. Uh, very special and unique experiences here. Traumatic and gruesome experiences as well. This is definitely one of those rooms where some of the most intense heart-wrenching stories take place. So a lot of the stories in this prison do have to do with segregation and the time period in which people were held here. There are separate cells for different races and different activities based on where you are in the prison. And it's very interesting because you can tell a significant difference in the energy, in the types of conversations you're having, even with those who are still physical, when you step into a lot of these different spaces. Sometimes they'll evoke certain emotional responses, even with each other or within yourself, certain thoughts that come to mind. And that's kind of an indicator of showing us how there's different energies and different people and different spirits that still walk or sit in the cells here today. <laughs> that's great. I can do newscaster. No.